welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing nine cool hidden chrome flag settings that you should change right now so if you're enjoying google chrome browser and if you really want to improve the performance and your experience then you should not miss these flag settings but before you starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification and you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem okay so in order to bring up the chrome flag bring up the chrome browser click on the address box and here you have to type chrome colon double forward slash flags then hit the enter key and the chrome flag will be coming up now here the very first flag that we will be enabling will be anonymize local ip exposed by web rtc so you will have to search for this flag in the search box and this flag setting is basically for the people who are more concerned about their security and once enabled this flag will give you an extra layer of security and peace of mind as it will conceal all the local ip address with the mdns host name and it will help you to keep more secure while browsing on internet okay so look for this option and click on the drop down and choose it to enabled all right so now next we have the tab audio so just look for tab audio and you will be getting the tab audio muting ui control so with this enabled you can mute audio directly from the website so what happened whenever you browse on any kind of website like youtube so basically what happened when the audio is playing on that particular uh, tab you see the icon over here but you cannot do any kind of changes but once you enable this option let me just enable it and relaunch it now this time if i again play the video and now if i hover up to this icon so from here only i can mute it right you can see that i can mute now so this is really very useful for the people who are enjoying the youtube or any other kind of website playing some kind of audio and instead of going to that particular website and muting it they can mute from here only all right guys so hopefully you will like this feature and i don't know that why chrome has not enabled this flag because this is really useful for the people let me know in the comment section that did you like this flag or not all right now next we have the parallel downloading and this is really a very popular flag that majority of the people enjoy so again you have to search for parallel downloading and you can read here it says enable parallel downloading to accelerate download speed and this work on your mac windows linux chrome os android and other operating system so especially if you do any kind of downloading from your chrome browser like downloading any kind of software application movies or anything then you should go and enable this option and trust me after enabling it you will find the huge difference in the downloading speed okay so you must enable this option okay so now let's move with the next one that we have is the camera and mic preview so when you search for camera and mic you will be getting this option camera and mic preview and it says enable camera and mic preview in permission bubble and site setting so what happened when you enable this option and click on relaunch the next time when you go to any kind of website where it asks you for the mic and the camera permission you will find some kind of advanced option here where from the preview only you can choose your mic or your camera and you can manage everything from the preview only so this is another amazing feature that you should enable it on your google chrome browser and now the next flag is also related to the previous one that is one time permission and it says enable experimental one time permission to geolocation microphone and the camera so what exactly happened when you enable this option and relaunch it and this time when it will ask you for the permission so you will find a new option over here by the name allow this time okay and if you want that this website you're only access your microphone or camera for this time only then you can select this option and this can be really useful for you if you are on any kind of website where you only want to give the permission for one time okay so again this is for the security purpose also and a great feature and you should enable right now and now the next we have the smooth scrolling and it says animate smoothly when scrolling page content so when you are on any kind of website and when you scroll so you will find that there is a smooth effect that improves the performance but many people reported that they are having some kind of lag and stutter while scrolling on their google chrome browser so what you have to do here in the smooth scrolling section first you need to try with the disable option 
click on relaunch and again check back if this make any kind of changes while scrolling or not in case if the disable doesn't work then again you have to go to the smooth scrolling and you need to try this to enabled okay so you can try both of the options like enabling and disabling and whichever work for you best you can keep that particular option now why i added this flag in the list because many people had a question they made a comment as well that how exactly the smooth scrolling work in the chrome browser okay so this all depend that what kind of performance you get by enabling or disabling because for many people the enabling option work for many people after disabling it work better so it's all up to you you will have to try both of them and then whichever work for you best you can go ahead and keep that all right so now let's move with the seventh chrome flag setting that is chrome refresh 2023 and then you have to look for this one chrome refresh 2023 and basically it enables the new design so that you can evaluate both the design and whichever you like the most you can keep it okay so right now you can see this is the old design and if i go ahead and just enable it and relaunch it so this is the new settings where you can find few of the changes so now it's all up to you if you want to enjoy the new one then you can go with the new one and if you want to keep the old one then you can go ahead and disable this chrome refresh 2023 and now the next flag that we have is the tab scrolling that is another amazing flag of google chrome and it's really useful for the people who work on the multiple tab so right now if i open multiple tab most of you get confused in these kind of multiple tab now what exactly you can do come to tab scrolling click on the drop down and choose enable tab don't shrink select this option now this time if i click on relaunch then now you can see that these tab are being categorized now and in order to view the other tab i have to click on this arrow icon which was not before but now it's available so if you like this option then you can keep it but in case if you don't like this one then you can again go ahead and disable the tab scrolling option so personally i like this feature because it helped me to view the tab according to my need if i want to view other tab then i simply have to click on the arrow icon and i can easily view them all right so it delete all kind of confusion in your mind but still if you don't like this then you can go ahead and disable it but if you like this option then you can keep this enabled all right so now let's move with the last chrome flag that we have is the chrome wide echo cancellation so if you do any kind of recording using your chrome browser then you can use this option because it says run web rtc capture audio processing in the audio process instead of the renderer processes thereby cancelling your echoes from more audio sources so this flag will basically remove all kind of echo from your audio uh, sources so that you can enjoy more quality audio on your chrome browser okay again you can go ahead and enable this option then click on relaunch and now we are all done and hopefully guys these all chrome flag setting you will surely like it and you must make these changes right now and if you like the video guys make sure that do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye